So this week officially kicks off earnings season. And with all of the excitement surrounding the uplifting economy, who's going to beat, who's going to miss, and by how much? But the real question that we need to be asking ourselves is this. Are there any profitable, repeatable patterns during earnings season that are worth trading to give me the lowest possible risk and the highest possible upside? Well, the answer to that question is yes. And I'm going to show you exactly how we do that starting now. Tom Gentile, welcome to Tom's Trading Room. You know what we do here? We show you how to spot repeatable trading patterns and create alternative trades other than simply buying stocks and going long. Do me a favor if you can, you find this video informative, hit that like button below. It helps support the video. Also, subscribing to the video and dinging the bell will allow you to get videos like these as soon as they're uploaded. Now, behind me, I got the Bloomberg terminal. All kinds of news coming in 24 7. But this isn't where we're going to go because today, my guest host, Mike Wade, is with me in the video room, and we're going to talk about what we do to spot repeatable earnings patterns. So, Mike, are you ready to go? Let me jump in front of my computer. I got you on the big screen, and let's get started. Okay, before I get started, real quick, uh, two things I want to mention. Number one, stock and options trading has large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. And number two, I'm not an investment advisor. I am here to show you how it is I spot opportunity and how I trade alternatively to simply buying and holding stock. You can read this entire disclaimer right now by pushing pause on this video. All right, so Mike and I want to talk about quarterly earnings. Quarterly earnings, uh, we're in Q1 of 2021. And there's a, you know, a lot of folks trade earnings where they simply think a stock's going to go higher. They buy the stock or even worse, buy call options the day of the earnings expecting for a quick hit. And a lot of times, even if the stock goes in the right direction, you can lose money on options. So the problem with earnings that we find are really twofold. Most people, number one, they trade earnings the wrong way. They focus on price prediction only. And number two, their timing is off. They trade through earnings. That means they buy right before earnings and they look to sell right after earnings. And while that does happen every once in a while, when it comes to options trading, a lot of times you're going to be wrong more often than you're right, even when you correctly predict the move of the stock. So Mike, Let's talk about an upcoming example. You've got one that everybody knows about. So what is that example? And show me how most people trade this through earnings and how we like to trade it through earnings. Yeah, Tom, the example we're talking about is Netflix. I mean, I know Netflix. Netflix at earnings, these green tri triangles, these green triangles right here are, are earnings announcements. And you'll see here that Netflix had bad earnings, the arrows pointing down, the arrows pointing down, the arrows pointing down there. So you would expect the downward movement in Netflix to happen because earnings were less than expected. We got a down movement there, we got a down movement there, and then the earnings were poor again and we got an up movement. So the problem is we just don't know which way Netflix is going to go on the earnings announcement. So playing directional on an earnings announcement is very risky. And once again, folks, we're talking about how to trade earnings like a pro. And so what we do is we go in and we look at quantifiable data. Now, we have been looking at this particular strategy for over 10 years. And so what we do is we hunt down what we call scalp, scalping ops or scalping opportunities in the market. And we utilize it a different way than most people. While most people look at price, what we do is very much like a ticket scalper. We like to get in and get out before the event begins, all right? And the event we're looking at in this case is earnings. Now we do that using something called the options implied volatility because as Mike's gonna show you right now, options implied volatility a lot of times is much easier to predict than, uh, than actual stock price. Let me show you how. Mike, how do we look at options implied volatility and can you talk about it using Netflix? Yes, Tom, this is an implied volatility chart for Netflix. And you'll notice here, it's a bit of a heartbeat pattern. And what happens consistently into earnings is that this implied volatility surge happens each and every time, regardless of which way the stock moves after earnings. So what we do 
is we get in before the announcement and we ride this wave up into the earnings announcement, get out before the announcement and cash in. And again, what do we know about Netflix's stock price? Well, we know that it is unpredictable after earnings. It can go up when we have uh, uh, earnings reports that are weaker. It can also go down when we have earnings reports that are stronger. Now, what we have seen on the chart is the price has had a 75% history of moving higher. But we also know that if you trade it through earnings, those option prices are likely to decay quite a bit. And what we also know is that before earnings, we see Netflix has a possibility of, in this case, its median move up to earnings is over 5.5% higher. And that's going into the week before earnings. Now, what we know about the options premium with Netflix is that we know that options almost always drop after an earnings announcement, but they almost always rise the week or two prior to the announcement. So that's something called implied volatility. And with Netflix, we see that we have options here have a move, have an option premium move of 23% on average the two weeks prior to an earnings announcement. So guess what? Knowing that price has gone up 75% in the last year prior to earnings and knowing that options applied volatility, that's the time premium on call options, has gone up the last four quarters in a row before the earnings price, then the safest trade out there is to simply buy calls a week or two before earnings and exit right before the earnings announcement. So, Mike, now that we've used Netflix as an example, this isn't even our best opportunity. What opportunities do you see right now that are happening around the Q1 earnings cycle? Yeah, Tom, there's a lot of them, but two that we really like are Johnson & Johnson and J.P. Morgan. Johnson & Johnson, of course, is one of the COVID virus vaccine companies, and there's a lot of hype around these vaccines. We're expecting a lot of movement in Johnson & Johnson. And then J.P. Morgan, interest rates are expected to uptick. Financials are hot. So these two companies have a lot of interest and we're really expecting a lot of movement in those. Now, in the data down here below, you can see we have Johnson & Johnson and J.P. Morgan. And what you'll notice first off is that if we, if we were to take these trades, the last four earnings periods, 100% of the time, these were winning trades. That's really good data. And if we get in seven days before the earnings announcement, we can expect roughly a double on both of these positions. That is awesome information. Thank you, Mr. Wade. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Guys, earnings season can be an exciting time. But exciting doesn't necessarily mean profitable. Sometimes the more exciting something is, the more money you might actually be losing. What we do is we scan for price and option patterns before earnings and look at the entry and exit to happen before the earnings event is known. Right? To me, that's more consistent than going in and gambling through an earnings cycle. And while nothing is a guarantee... In my humble opinion, I believe this is the best pattern to play through earnings season. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. Three things for you. Number one, for more information on how we trade like rules-based traders, check out the description below this video. I've got a lot of free stuff there for you. Number two, like this video, please. It helps support the channel. And finally, if you subscribe to the video and ding the button next to it, You'll get the next one as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next video.